I wouldn't even spend that on a t-shirt. Like this is literally killing me off. That was so expensive. Are you shitting me? <laughs> I actually could not believe I'm filming this video. Jesus Christ, you are in for a treat. Good morning. So today is the first day of 2020, which seems really weird to say because I feel like 2019 just went so fast. I obviously want to say a little thank you for everything that went on in 2019. It literally was the best year of my life. But just thank you for everything in general. I think you know what I mean. <laughs> So as a lot of you may know if you followed my channel for a while or if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, I'll put it on the screen. I express a lot of concerns about my skin. My skin's been bad for around six months, possibly now. It's always been bad, but it's like bad, bad. It's the worst it's ever been, ATM. Today I've woken up and my skin's not as irritated as it usually is. This is what it normally looks like. And I normally get around two more spots every single day, whether it's on my cheeks, my chin, which is obviously hormonal. Coming on my period, guys, so I know that that's what it is. But then I've also started to get them here but i've never had them on my forehead and i'm starting to get like little bumps and that's just worrying so basically there isn't an area on my face that is unharmed <laughs> let's say it's either got an acne scar or a new spot so i just want clear skin it's literally all i want if 2020 can bring me anything it's clear skin guys so i reached out to one of my friends and he actually knows someone that works at dermalogica i believe that's how you say it they basically do skin mapping where they look at your face and they're like oh you're dehydrated or you're lacking this and lacking that so i'm hoping i can get my skin sorted today Day. This isn't gifted or anything. I've just basically been arranged it. Cried too many damn times over my skin and I just want it to be a problem that I don't even think about. I'm sure a lot of you feel the same. I am completely barefaced right now. It's been around two hours since I had the facial done. I'm obviously going to talk you through the process. I couldn't film it because obviously I was laid down with my eyes closed. I don't know how I was supposed to film that, which is really annoying because I wanted you guys to see the process. I can talk you through it and all of that. I just want to say my face is looking pretty crazy. That's because I had something called extraction done, which I'll go into later. I look ridiculous and personally feel very insecure, but I feel like the whole point in this video is for me to just get the hell over the fact that I have bad skin and maybe possibly solve it that's what we're hoping so i had a facial done firstly which i think is normally around 35 pounds for one treatment but i had so many different things done i can't even put into words i had face masks on i had oils on i had an extraction done which is basically where i'm pretty sure you've all seen these satisfying videos where they get blackheads out of people's nose nose noses i honestly don't know what i'm saying right now but they get an extractor and basically get all of the dirt out of your pores and apparently i had a lot which i didn't no, I didn't know I had this, but apparently they were there. Then she also did my chin. I didn't know you could get blackheads in your chin. Maybe I didn't even have any. But that also happened, which is why my nose area literally looks like Mars. I was going to put makeup on for this segment of the video, but then you wouldn't see the benefits of having the facial. Obviously, I look ridiculous right now, but that's because I just had it done. So I thought I'd go completely makeup free to show you guys what it's really like. And I've just put my brows back on because your girl has no brow hairs after brow lamination. <laughs> so your consultation starts off with skin mapping. You basically just say what products you use, what your diet is, what your lifestyle is. Obviously, mine is not a healthy diet, but it's also not very unhealthy. I go traveling a lot and that's basically my life. Lifestyle. So after face mapping, she then assessed my face and apparently, I did not know this, this section of my forehead is combination skin. My cheeks are dry and the rest of my face is like dry to combination. Then because I'm dry on my cheeks, which is, as you can tell, it's my problem area mainly because I'm stupid and I'm not... <sighs> moisturizing my face properly see this is the thing i thought my skincare was like a1 i thought i was doing incredible and i'm just gonna scrap the whole thing <sighs> i spent so much money as well so firstly i want to apologize for the fact that i'm not on camera it is two weeks later and you know it's just one of them days i want to be in bed so i decided to be a creative girly and draw for you yeah i didn't draw this one though this is a stock image but look at the fucking other ones like they're so fucking scary we've got this queenie over here so i've just edited out the watermark to make it look like my work anyway so we started off the facial by double cleansing and um, these are one of the products that i've actually got but i'll go into it later so she used a pre-cleanse oil to melt away impurities grime and debris off of the skin this is literally word for word what she sent me so probably some big words in there that my dyslexic ass isn't gonna know so let's just gloss over that then we second cleanse with something that she actually made herself like in the store so she said it was a cleanser which was a foaming clearing wash with a daily microfolian i don't know what that word means and then she mixed it with water and a professional 
Original Multi Scaling Gel. I don't know what that is either. Which apparently softens your pores and she also added EA35, which I thought was that cream that you put on your rashes. But I think that's E45. I'm just getting mixed up here. <laughs> which is a powered professional exfoliant. It's really good for the resurface of skin because obviously I have a lot of skin damage. So what we want to do, we want to give my skin a new base. So she mixed them all together and did the double cleanse for me. And this meant that she didn't have to exfoliate because she's already double cleansed. And the steamer was on at this point to help over my pores and apparently draw the toxins toxins <laughs> the toxins out of <laughs> i can't say that word toxins out of my skin there we go i've just realized i sound so sick so then i had the extraction done which is why my skin is so red raw and it's basically where they squeeze the blackheads out of your skin admittingly i watch so many of these videos on instagram because i think they're really satisfying but also gross oh my god i never knew this apparently blackheads come from clock clocked get your clogs out <laughs> They come from clogged hair follicles. I didn't know that. After removing all the blackheads, she then spritzed some toner over my skin to tighten my pores and create a barrier for the antioxidants to prevent nervous skin damage and to hydrate the skin. Well, there you go. The final step is just to moisturize. Using an SPF, apparently this is really important because it will protect me from the UV rays and I'm going on holiday soon, so I kind of needed this anyway. So yeah, that ended my facial. So this is what my skin currently looks like two hours after. It wasn't as red when I came out. Of selfridges around my nose area obviously it's gonna be red raw at the minute just because i didn't realize how many blackheads i had they've probably been there for a while they could have been hella deep for all i know because i'm used to using pore strips and i found out that they're really bad for you because they don't properly clean out your pores and it also damages your skin so Huh. I obviously had a really big problem area there and I had no idea. So I feel like it's really worth going to see a specialist. I'm gonna take you through the products because I dead ass got a whole new skincare regime. <laughs> So I never really spend money on anything, to be honest. Anything that I earn usually just goes straight into my savings or I spend it on food and travel. Literally the only two things I ever spend money on. And my rent, obviously. So when I went in, I was kind of just like, you know what, I want the best of the best. So if I'm going to have to spend the big bucks, just because I feel like skincare is something you really should invest in. You really should be looking after your skin to the best that you can. And we know <laughs> that my skin isn't the best and I've tried everything I can. So I feel like I just needed to dive straight in, into the deep end you know and just deal with the consequences afterwards so my bill was a lot of money i'm not gonna lie but let me just clarify to anyone that has not seen me before and this is possibly the first video you've come across i have tried every brand every brand possible of skincare i even tried clinique and apparently i'm allergic to that so that's just marvelous i got a renew and recharge bag which she told me not to use any of these products yet because we resurfaced my skin today guys there was like a barrier that was blocking my skin from becoming new on my forehead i started to get loads of little under the skin bumps and it was just loads of texture there i didn't know why so we discovered that i needed to resurface my skin basically there was loads of dead skin that sounds really grim but there was loads of dead skin underneath creating texture and creating spots on my forehead and it's just because i hadn't been given my skin what it needed so it was producing all these oils and all these different things that it thought i needed when it really didn't i just should have been using products that were right for my skin and i haven't been this whole time so it created a barrier for me so now we've broke down that barrier with a facial today and the products that i'm going to be showing you are gonna eventually break it down over the course of a month and then we're gonna have fresh new skin ladies and gents then i can start using these bad boys if if i fancy it let's just delve in because why not it's like christmas all over again oh they're like little travel sizes this is so cool so the one thing she said i can use is the antioxidant hydra mist these are all in travel sizes because basically i actually love her with my whole heart i told her that i'm obviously going to be doing some traveling and stuff and if you're traveling for example to australia which is what i'm going to be doing the flight's like 26 hours and it's just long it really does take an effect on your skin i don't know if anyone else has experienced this but when you come off a flight your skin feels really tight and you do break out afterwards and it's because you're literally starving your face of oxygen i had this spread on my face at the very end of the facial if i react to it we're gonna see tomorrow morning because normally sprays don't really work well for me don't know why i've tried all the mario Badescu's. i've tried all the other facial mists that you're probably all gonna leave in the comments and my skin just breaks out to them there's so many we also put in some spf 30 little travel size things for me because as i said i'm going away and we've also got a miniature travel size of one of the ones that i'm going to show you in a bit i know a lot of you are probably not interested so i'm just going to put it on the screen instead just so you can pause it because now we can 
hurry up and get into the big stuff. I'm gonna do it in order to what I should be using it in the skincare routine, if that makes sense. And all of these are daily. I know it's gonna be a lot, but I really do wanna clear my skin, guys. So, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. So the first thing is this pre-cleanser, and this basically takes off your makeup. It's a makeup remover. But you can also use it if you've not worn makeup that day and you just feel grimy, because that happens to me quite often. I already have a makeup remover that I love. It's the Body Shop one that I'm sure you've all seen before. And it's a balm, which is better for your skin than like micellar water. Sorry guys, but it is. So if you have a balm makeup remover, you're doing it the right way. So this is an oil which 100% removes your makeup. It's the same as a balm, just in a different density. You don't want to read how much they are. For your benefit, I'm gonna have to. So that was £39.50. I wouldn't even spend that on a t-shirt. Like, this is literally killing me off. The next thing is the Ultra Calming Cleanser. Doesn't that really jingle your bells? And this is obviously supposed to be used after the pre-cleanser. This is just an ordinary cleanser. Take a shot every time I say cleanser. The cleanser is £33, which is probably one of the cheapest items we're going to discuss here. But to be fair, for the size, pretty decent. So the next step is daily if I want it to be, but I don't have to. She recommended like three times a week and I actually thought it was really cute. They're called a daily resurfacer. It's basically an exfoliant but it's like a little glove and you put it on the end of your finger. It's really sweet and you just rub it all the way around your face and you don't have to wash it off. You can leave that on which I thought was cool because normally I feel like the water is what's draining my face. If I don't have to wash something off it's so much better for me. So yeah that's step three and I think you get 35 of these. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? That was so expensive. That was £67.50 for 35 of them. What's the maths of that? What is the math? Someone comment that below. For me, man. Fuck. <laughs> this is gonna look like I've been ripped off, but like I really haven't because so many of you messaged me saying, try Dermalogica. Four of my friends even recommended Dermalogica, so I feel like it is obviously a really good brand to go to. So this next one is called an Age Bright Clearing Serum, and this is that bad boy that cost 58 pounds. <laughs> I have a youth concentrate that I put on from the body shop. I think I put it on every morning and night. And ever since I've been using it, my skin hasn't improved. It's just kind of always been bad. So I don't know if it is that product or whether like it's all of my products I've been using before put together. But I know that that product isn't good for me. So I'm glad to be getting rid of that and replacing it with this one. This one's natural serum so it will be helping my skin. All of these products by the way help towards clearing acne, resurfacing your skin back to normal and giving it the oils that it actually needs so that your skin doesn't have to do it itself because as we said if your skin does it itself because it thinks it's lacking in something that's when spots are produced because you have too many oils on your face and you just don't need them. The next one is the last one in the daily skincare routine and then I've got another product to show you for occasional use. So this is called a skin smoothing cream. It's basically just a moisturizer and I've got it on my skin at the minute. However, this doesn't have SPF in and is really, really light but gives you the hydration you need. It says 48 hours of hydration, which is really, really good. So my problem before was that I wasn't putting on moisturizer because it would make me feel like really sticky and just clammy, I guess. So that was the reason I stopped putting it on because underneath my makeup, I felt like my makeup was just sliding off my face. It just wasn't a good feeling, you know. That's why my skin's been deprived of it because I'm just a stupid little girl. That was also 58 pounds. 58 pounds for a moisturizer. It's worth it has, it's worth it has, it's worth it has. So then the last one is called a multivitamin power recovery mask. So because I'm hopefully gonna be traveling a lot in summer and maybe traveling soon, I'm gonna be on a plane a lot. And as I said, it really dries your skin out and just makes you feel really, really disgusting. So this is a mask that you put on during flight and then you just use a cough or something. Just take a flannel and it's supposed to keep you hydrated throughout the whole flight and also just like rebalance the surface of your skin for what it would have been lacking on the flight. That was £49.50. <laughs> that was my little haul. I literally am annoyed at myself for spending so much money but I'm also not because future me will really thank me for this. My skin hasn't calmed down at all since I've started filming. I feel like the bright lights probably aren't helping it. So I'm going to do an update in the morning maybe in a few days and show you guys what my skin looks like. How my acne scars are doing. I know it's not going to be overnight results. I just want to keep you guys updated, but I'll see you in a few days. <laughs> 350 pounds. Fuck me.